Hello my beautiful Pisces friends. How are you today? Welcome to the channel. I'm Rishnana Tarot. We are doing a love reading for Pisces. I have shuffled the cards prior to turning on the camera six times. So let's see what the energy is for Pisces in love. Well, ouch. <laughs> Somebody made you feel as though you had to absolutely leave the scene of a relationship. In the recent past, the Ten of Swords is a feeling of defeat. It's a feeling that you must move forward here, that there is a final ending, but with it comes relief. The energy that you currently have about the situation is the person that you were with was toxic. They were manipulative. The Devil card energy shows that the Devil, beautiful, handsome Devil, um, is manipulating a puppet so it does look as though you feel Pisces as though you have been fodder for the cannon so to speak that this person is you know could be narcissistic but you feel really manipulated and used and let down so that is a painful place to be that is Capricorn energy that is um, Gemini energy the world card Aquarius you are fine you have already worked through all of the stuff you've made very very good successful analysis when we leave, have the world card and we go into the next cycle a door closes another one opens it's very successful when we get the world card this person has the all the tools that they need you have all the tools that you need to move from this cycle into the next cycle you are successful this time you will be successful in the new cycle magnificently so how does the world view you Pisces from the outside looking in, what do people see when they when they think of you? What do they think? You are beautiful. Look at this. Pisces, you are looking good. <laughs> Everybody wants the Pisces who's an empress. Wow, that's Taurus energy. Gorgeous. Everybody, you are looking fine, Pisces. Well, your season is upon us right in a couple more days here. All right, so Pisces, the Hermit card. In your heart space, you're ready for some time alone, a search for answers, working on yourself, going to the mountains, so to speak, looking at things from a more enlightened viewpoint. It's calm, it's cerebral, it's Virgo energy, it's doing the work of healing. How you view the situation is, you know, you can stand on your own. You feel really good about yourself. You know you've done the right thing. The Seven of Wands energy is very much about, you know, standing your ground, respecting yourself. What's hidden here, though, is that you are ready for a big adventure, Pisces. You know, whether it's surfing or another big adventure, you are manifesting something right now. As I speak, you're manifesting something in your life that you're going to be able to count on long term. It's hidden to you right now. You sense it's coming with the world and the uh, Empress card, two major arcanas. You really sense that it's here, but you don't see it quite yet in the tangible in daily life. What is Spirit suggesting to Pisces? chariot card move forward swiftly Pisces move into your future fearlessly that's the Emperor driving the chariot that's always the Emperor and we have the Empress so it's Cancerian energy it's honey I'm home it's finding your place in the Sun it's finding your place with the right person the right job the right everything that you value look at throwing caution to the winds ooh Pisces, what are you up to? All right, so let's clarify these cards, and then we're going to go around again with a deck about the person of interest that you've come to learn about. So let's see what the energies are here and why they're here. So let's see. For our Pisces friends, okay. So when you started this relationship with this person, it was very sudden. It was somebody who you felt had some authority in life, and you intuitively were drawn to this person. So it does look like this person has served a positive uh, influence in your life in many ways. So tell us why the Ten of Swords is here. Why is the Ten of Swords here? This person, and this is Aquarius energy, it looks like this person was a little bit too cool 
uh, for how you feel. You feel as though they had a lot of authority, and I feel as though you thought that they were trying to hold you back in some way. They were trying to capitalize on what you brought to the relationship. You don't view this person as a bad person, but you view them as a person who doesn't really see that they can be very controlling. Um, you're aloof with it. This is, a, again, like I said, Aquarius energy. So you feel as though they were just a little bit too cool and aloof about your needs. Okay, so why is a devil energy here? Why did you see this person as the devil energy in your life, Pisces? Three of Swords. You felt as though you were always vying for their attention. Uh, for some of you, it could have been literally a third party situation because we have two kings and a ten of swords stabs in the back and the three of swords, a broken heart. So why is the broken heart here with the devil card? How did this person break your heart? For many of you, this person has returned to a past, to their past. They return to somebody with the two kings here. You may feel as though that they returned to a love relationship with somebody from their past is what I'm seeing. The page of swords reverse means that you're not looking at them online. They're doing well. You don't care. You think they were a lightweight. So, you know, at the end of the day, again, you're just not going to take any action towards them. You view the situation as completely having nowhere to go. All right, Pisces, why is the Empress card here? Why is the Empress card here for Pisces? The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth you have, you are. For some of you, this could be vice versa energy here. Some of you may be leaving someone who you thought was manipulative uh, for someone from the past. So it's going to vary by, by viewer. If it resonates with you, it's yours. If it doesn't, it's not yours. Don't try to make it fit. All right, look at this. You are in your heart space desirous of a very stable, committed, happy relationship. You are ready to get married. We have the Empress card here. That's Taurus energy. Taurus energy with the Hierophant. Venus rules the seventh house of marriage. You could live together with somebody right now and be quite happy with them also. So, but you want stability and you want somebody who's very enlightened. When we look at these cards, Pisces, we're seeing enlightenment here. You know, yes, you want a traditional relationship or the traditional benefits, but you want to have it in an enlightened manner. You also need a certain amount of time on your own. You're very studious. You like to read. You like to study situations and look at what a great manifester you are. Look at this, Pisces. So you are manifesting what you want want. Uh, you're doing it quietly. Did you know, for many of you, Pisces is known as the wealth sign of the zodiac. Pisces, there are more Pisces millionaires and billionaires than any other sign. So just thought I'd throw that out there. Look at the Three of Cups energy. You know, you have to be friends with your lover. That is just a given for you. Five of Wands. Yeah, you're defending yourself against drama. You have fire in your belly. Oh, look at this. This was hidden. Somebody who's making you or who made you feel, I but I feel as though there's it's going on still. Somebody is causing drama in this relationship. It could be a friend though. So for those of you who are talking to a friend about a love energy, be careful about the advice you take. You can listen. You know, the Nine of Wands will listen. But it also shows that for many of you, you might have a friend who feels competitive with your lover. And that happens. It does happen. Okay. So what do we have, Pisces? Why is the Three of Wands here? What great adventure are you manifesting? Pisces, what great adventure are you manifesting? Oh, you're dreaming of, okay, so we have you in this feeling of you are manifesting this, but in the past, it looks as though you didn't think it was possible. So why didn't you think that was possible in the past? <laughs> well, you did.
did think it was possible in the past. What we're seeing here is that the person you were with with a toxic energy didn't think that you should have taken an adventure or that you should. And they made you feel uncomfortable enough to motivate you not to do it. It like, and you felt, you knew that they really had your best interest at heart, but you also know that they were looking out for themselves. So your feeling about this is that it's time to take that adventure, that the toxic energy about your plans, it was like they could ride their surfboard, but you couldn't ride yours. And that ended up really being the toxicity. Like they would talk out both sides of their mouth they wanted to learn something or do something, but they didn't think you should do it. So it does look like the betrayal much may have been much more of a cerebral nature. You might have felt like they wanted to hold you down in terms of your career, your prestige, as a way of sort of having some control. And here we go, Pisces, there we go. There you are in your reading. We have the moon card. They made you feel less than, or you felt less than. I don't think they were trying to make you feel less than. Uh, I just feel like this person valued you highly and felt that the only way they could have you was to sort of have a thumb down. Two of Cups, yeah. You are manifesting a new relationship, Pisces. It looks as though, for some of you, you know, it does look like you are returning to someone from the past or your person is. But what I'm seeing here is a great deal of happiness for you. Look at your outcome as Two of Cups. After a period of difficulty. So now let's look at the person who you care about. The person you want to be with and what they're bringing to the table. So let's clarify. Clarify this energy between the two, two the Emperor and the king of swords what is the clarification here aha somebody is invested in you so the person of interest is investing in you seven of cups seven of pentacles that's the investment card they're buying in so to speak with a shopping bag they have bought into the relationship the judgment card they are leaving something behind they are very clearly oh look at this and it's a third party situation so your person that you love look at three of swords clarifying the three of swords in a different deck so there is a situation in which somebody has made the final judgment to um, you know return to another partner um, this person's invested in you, though, so it looks as though they're making the choice. So if it's a third-party situation you're in, you are the, quote-unquote, you're going to be victorious because your person is investing in you. They are coming to you with a very romantic gesture, Pisces energy, the Knight of Cups, they're offering you love. The Three of Cups, this person does have, you've known this person a while, they're a very good friend of yours. You feel as though there's a lot to celebrate. This is also a reunion from the past. So for many of you, Pisces, this will be a reunion with someone you haven't seen in a while. The Three of Coins also says, though, that you know you might have worked with this person. You don't really want to do that. You'd rather have friendship. We have you, Pisces, your person has ended something. They have ended something. They have ended another relationship to manifest it with you. They could have ended a marriage, but they could have also just ended a significant relationship to come to you and, and you know, manifest this with you. The Two of Cups, look at it. the Two of Cups here, the Two of Cups there. So the Two of Cups energy really speaks to the fact that your person already knows that they are in love with you. Three of Cups is friendship. Two of Cups is, you know, the bride and groom card in the Rider way. So this is what they want. They're very much invested in a future with you. So what is it that we see for this energy here? So Pisces, you really feel as though you've been left in the cold by your old partner. You're, give, you're not gonna carry the burden anymore. You're letting down, you're just dropping the sticks and you're investing in something new. Something for your future that is brand new. When we get the Ace of Coins and the Three of Cups, that does possibly lead to a marriage, and the Knight of Cups would make that offer. Oops, look at this. We have a card here. The King of Cups, Pisces, Scorpio energy. So Scorpio energy is also, you know, death and rebirth. 
and so when I get this energy here it's hidden how do you how does your person feel about coming in quickly the Queen of Wands I don't think that this has been um, spirits advice is don't rush you know don't move too fast Pisces is saying that you should not take action the person who is interested in you should be the one to take action why is the star card here for our beautiful Pisces friends eight of wands lots of passionate communication throwing caution to the winds why is the moon card here I like this energy overall, two of cups, two of cups, a lot of repeating energy for both of you. So it's very mutual. Seven, okay, seven of swords says that there's still something hidden, something that your person does not want you to know. The strength card, that's Leo energy. Page of swords, somebody from the past is still spying on you. If you left somebody with Leo in their chart behind you might have left a fire sign behind who's spying on you. Seven of Swords is kind of a spy card. It's that card, okay? So we had the Seven of Swords twice. So you're still feeling the pain of somebody who was dishonest with you, and they're still being dishonest with you. Please, Spirit, tell us something more about this, because you have some sort of tie. You might, you have a tie to this person. You might own a pet together. It's odd, okay. There's some sort of reason that you'll stay in contact. The King of Swords energy, the King of Swords energy, Aquarius energy, somebody who is who's really, yeah, they're not happy with your decision. So it does look like for many of you, you will have reason to keep in touch with an ex with whom you have responsibilities, children, could be, you know, a beloved pet. But it does look as though there is a breakup to have a reunion with someone else. Pisces, sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Please like, subscribe, share. If you like the video, it's the only way we can really get go forward in YouTube and really uh, have success. Thank you.